Which is the best team still left in the playoffs, Darren, with uh, the Caps having had that mantle going in as the best team in the playoffs? Yeah, I, and I had Washington to win it all this year, Rich. So, uh, obviously, just on a personal note, I, I, you know, at the very beginning of the year, in the beginning of the playoffs, I, I still had Washington getting through this. Pittsburgh's the defending cup champions. They're, 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 they're impressive. Uh, I think with the decor that they have, Rich, I didn't think that that unit was going to be strong enough to get through Washington, and obviously they've they've proved me completely wrong there. They continue to find a way to, to get it done. Uh, to me, Anaheim is, is the toughest of the teams left over. Uh, people are forgetting Nashville. They just went through Chicago in four. They went through St. Louis in six. They've had a few days off. That rest is going to be vital. Um, as far as momentum and rest and all things considered, I, I got to tell you, I, I think Nashville is right up there as a, as a top contender right now. Nashville. I mean, look. How do you like that? Well, I mean, the eight seed, I mean, what they did to Chicago might be one of the more surprising uh, playoff performances in any sport that we've seen in the last several years, Darren. I mean, they, they, they almost shut them out completely. Um, so you can't discount them, an eight seed no. doing what they've done so far. Well, you really can't. And uh, you look at their their defense right now, are, are to me, they're the best group in the NHL. They're top four. Uh, Roman Yossi with Ryan Ellis, uh, Matthias Ekholm with P.K. Subban, and then even the, the third pairing of Matty Irwin and, uh, and, and Yannick Weber. Uh, they get the puck up the ice. They do their job. Um, that, that they get, uh, I think they had 157 or 160 points in the regular season just from their defensemen. They've continued that on in the playoffs. Uh, Peter Laviolette is an experienced coach that's won, and, and he encourages that defense to get up in the play. I'm telling you, they were magnificent against the St. Louis Blues and Chicago. So I just wouldn't underestimate them. I think maybe the one thing that Anaheim has that, uh, you know, that very, that, that I, I don't think anybody has what Anaheim has, and that is Ryan Getzlaff as your main guy and Ryan Kessler as your number two guy. He hounded Connor McDavid and did a great job of it. And he can skate. He gets around the ice. So that's where Anaheim's going to have the strength, in my opinion, over Nashville. Uh, but I think Nashville's got that offensive dynamic from the blue line, and their goaltender, to me, Pekka Rene, is playing his best. So that's why I'm, I'm a, listen, maybe because I watched uh, every bit of the games and I was up live in person with the Nashville-St. Louis series, but right now I, I like Nashville in, in, in the West in a very tough series against Anaheim. Well, I mean, they have the Carrie Underwood effect, too. Let's not forget <laughs> that, Darren. I mean, They've got stars after stars singing the national anthem in Nashville. That's got to mean something. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, not since, I, I don't know, you, you might know better than me, maybe not since, you know, Janet Jones Gretzky have we seen uh, an intangible quite like this in the playoffs, <laughs> That's right. Darren. That's right. Just, She'll, they'll pull out all the stops, trust me, in Nashville. I, I asked some of the players on the Blues w what the buildings were like. Uh, Minnesota was incredibly loud. They're great fans there. We all know at the United Center in Chicago, Rich. That's as, I mean, that's as fun as it gets. But they said that Nashville in that six-game series great. was yeah. louder and more enthusiastic than any building that they'd been in. Well, so that was a handful of Blues players in a really hard six-game series. So that's the seventh man. That's a factor for Nashville. I think it's uh, I think that's a team right now that's uh, that's hmm. destined to go places. Well, I mean, look, uh, you could you could. You could definitely feel it through the television set. So based on what you're saying, Darren Pang, Nashville versus P Pittsburgh with the Penguins maybe uh, repeating? Is that what you're seeing right now? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a matchup that I see right now, and it's hard to believe I'm going against Anaheim because of just the experience that they have. But, um, I, again, I'm, I'm leaning towards just instincts, and my instincts are the way that Nashville is playing, the way that Peter Laviolette changes things. He's got a lot of different game plans. So, yeah, I, 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 right now I like Pittsburgh and, uh, and Nashville. And here I am going on your show, talking hockey, and I'm from Ottawa. And so I'm excited uh -oh. to go. I'm going to go to Ottawa and do some Westwood One radio on, in that series. But I'm going against my hometown Ottawa Senators, and I'm leaning towards Pittsburgh and Nashville in the final. Do you remember our days in the, uh, in the Bristol uh, I building? I guess building one, Bill Pito, me, you, because uh, I, I think you and Billy would be saddling up on NHL tonight, and I would be doing the intermission reports for whatever game was leading into it, Darren. And there's a developing situation <laughs> from Billy Pito. <laughs> <laughs> you take care, Darren. Good chatting with you. Rich, thanks for having me on. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.